all right guys real quick that i really wanted to point out for this video is i'm sorry this is a little bit later than expected i'm like almost two weeks late since this is technically episode three this should have gone out two sundays ago uh during the point of i think when the super bowl was we came out that it was during that time when we recorded this well actually to be uh to be a little bit more straight up we recorded the episode before the super bowl so in this podcast we mentioned the super bowl and that's when i was supposed to initially upload this episode but unfortunately i did not because i i don't remember what was happening that week i know i was just stressed with school and so much other things uh that's really what i wanted to just say in this little small segment i might have to do one for uh at podcast number four because i think i mentioned a couple of things that i said i was gonna do but i think i never did so i wanted to clear up anything but anyways uh the last thing i really wanted to point out is in this episode i mentioned some timestamps regarding the videos i am not gonna do it because i feel like it beats the purpose of like essentially telling you to watch the video you know like the whole episode but i will do what i will do is like post all the episodes for from 9 through 12 that we talked about in this episode in the description below so go ahead and check out those episodes as a matter of fact go ahead and check those episodes if you haven't already because every single episode of the series is straight fire so go ahead and check it out and with that being said this has been gizmo and i'll see you next well actually the next podcast should be going up on uh i didn't, I didn't clarify it in the podcast because again it, it was already recorded like about two weeks ago about two weeks ago ish so this is podcast number three episode podcast number four should be going up on this wednesday fingers crossed for your boy fingers crossed but anyways uh with that being said this has been gizmo and i hope you guys enjoyed the podcast and see you next or see you wednesday peace Hello everyone, this is Gizmo GX, and welcome back to the Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red Soling Versus Podcast and tagging along with what me is me? my baby girl, Goki Gamer. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I had coffee in my mouth. What's up, home dogs? My name is Goki Gamer. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today, and I hope life is going well for you all. I kind of find it hilarious that this guy did not react to what I just said. But you know what? Frick it. He'll, if he watches the podcast, he'll... Exactly. It, it's fine. Well, it's to fine. be fair, I had coffee in my To be fair, I had coffee in my mouth. So do, do with that information what you will. <laughs> I didn't want to go, what? what? All over my microphone because that'd be weird. You know what I mean? I know, right? So. So, you know, typically uh, how we always start off the podcast, we're always talking about random themes. Uh, for the last two podcasts, we've been just talking about anime and anime and anime. But actually... Anime, anime, anime. But honestly, this time around, I really wanted to uh, kind of kind of apologize uh, because the podcast for episode two is going to be up very, very late. Now, <laughs> it's been... <laughs> Almost a week late, and then on top of that, oh I kind of want to address something oh my that felt worthy was that I'm always uploading my half of the episode super late, and there's a reason for that. There's a big reason for that. But before I go on about that, I just want to, like, you know, praise Goki for always being on time. You know, my boy been putting hey, in you. that work. I'm trying out here. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. No, like, literally, no, the, the time stamping. Literally, I, that would not be possible if we didn't have the timestamps. I'm telling you right now. It, that would not have happened if it weren't for the timestamps. Because um, that's what's been really saving me. Because I don't have to like go through the entire episode looking for things to do. We, which is what we really should have done in the cage lock. That would have made cage lock much easier. so much easier. That would have been so much um, easier. If we had done that. Or like any collabs. Guys, being 100% legitimate here... Do timestamps, please, for your collabs. Your your collaborators will thank you. <laughs> Do timestamps, because my god, they are so amazing. Like, holy frick, I love them. I know, right? So, um, yeah, yeah no, it, it was legitimately, like, the, like episode 9 would not have had the edits it had if it, um... Who was it for the timestamps? If I had it timestamped, yeah. Because I literally timestamped, like, the Reggie Gigas Cry, which we'll get into later on. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit, and then like there was a swear I bleeped out as well. I would not have been able to find that if it weren't if I unless I watched the entire thing, which would have get, wasted like a half hour more time, or something yeah. like that. Who knows? But 
Yikes. Um, at the very least, a half hour more time. So the, the timestamps really saved me um, with this series. So I really we should be really, using like, them. Originally, originally, what we were going to do, right, um, is we were going to edit everything in December. So we wouldn't even have to worry about that. All we'd have to worry about is making the thumbnails. Um, spoiler alert, we didn't do that. Uh, so um, <laughs> the timestamps have literally been saving me. The timestamps are a godsend. It so, is. It is. Uh, if, if I'm ever doing a collab with anybody, I'm going to be like, we're doing timestamps whether you like it or not, <laughs> because frick that nonsense. I need to get adjusted because this man has been keeping me on check. <laughs> so I, I need to work <laughs> on it. I really do yeah, need to work on it. Been the other way, in the past, it's been the other way around. Yep. In the past, it's been the other way around. You know, really it, it's fun. very, yeah, you know, that's very funny, Goki, because the last two souling verses, I've always been on your ass. And you, uh, yeah. because you've always been like taking uh, your. Uh, been taking a while right now this time around yeah. for whatever reason i don't understand <laughs> the reversed. universe but it's now reverse roles now i'm the one being yeah. all laid and making like a lot of small yeah. issues you know it's freaking I mean, hilarious yeah yeah i mean for me it's again the timestamp saved me that that's the that's the difference that that's why i'm staying consistent is, is because of the timestamps if it wasn't for the timestamps i would not be staying consistent at all but there's a reason I, I'm, I'm just Go. telling you that straight up so Goki, okay, there's a reason why <laughs> i've been very late when it comes to uploads for this series a little bit late like i make sure it does go up on that same day it's just a little bit yeah. super it's either Super late, oh, hey, hey, midway. 11 p.m. my time. <laughs> yeah. So the, I think yesterday I uploaded the earliest ever for that week. But the reason why is because yeah, was pretty early. for the last two weeks, I've engulfed the second stage of becoming a weep. I went from watching oh, yeah, anime manga, and now right? I'm re currently reading manga. Reading manga, yeah. So I remember you were talking about that last week too. You were reading manga, so and then like you just forgot you had to edit the Soul Link versus. So you're like, oh frick! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. So right now, into this current point in time, I'm moving on to my third manga, and so far, in total number of chapters I've read up to is like almost. It's accumulated almost to like almost 400 chapters, I've read in the past two weeks yeah it's not a lot wild. but i've been let's just say let's put it this way and thank god i do not have a face cam because you could see the black circles under my eye it's freaking weird <laughs> so uh i mean i have a face cam and you can see the black circles under mine so you're fine dude oh jeez, man uh you can see <laughs> you, can see the, you can see the you can see the pimple right here it's yeah it's fun you know i need to learn a it's little bit of self-control goki it's great. goki i need acne to learn self-control and a half years old it's great Go Anyways, uh, Goki, I need to learn self control. I really do. Mm -hmm. I do. It, it's You're not wrong. You're it, not wrong. Sir. It You're just gets wrong. too good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh that's God. really, I really wanted to just talk about the beginning half of this podcast because I thought I mentioned it. And yeah. So, but Goki, Me. anything interesting happening this week on your end? Um, I said I was going to do an Epsom cell bath uh, last weekend. Still have not done that same Epsom cell bath. So. <laughs> So that's my body hates me for that, but um, because like recently, like with dance, like um, usually like the first few weeks is like rough because you're getting back into shape, but now it's getting rough because it's just like the stamina it takes and like the mental capacity and like the physical capacity, like the physical, like the phys you have to push through. It it, it gets on you <laughs> sometimes. It, it was like whoa, oh god, ah. You know when you mentioned that uh, on it's, Discord, it's I fun. was. But other than. Other than that, it's probably um, been about average. So when I was when you said that on Discord, I just pick, I was trying to picture it. Like, how would you even do that? Like, what do you get into a bathtub, fill it up with water, and just put the Epsom and then just sit there? So, so kind of yeah. So the what Epsom salt is is it's it's, it's like a salt that dissolves. Um, it, it's supposed to help you with like your sores and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I do is like um here um let me go get it real fast because it's in the bathroom right next to uh right next door. Give me two seconds if you want to, and I can come back with the uh, with a bag of it. So yep. give me give me two seconds. Uh, hello, I'm back. Um, <laughs> so mm -hmm. this is what uh, this is what I use uh, for anybody who's wondering. Um, this is not a sponsor, uh, but it is great. I really love it. Um, what it does is it it's I don't even know. I don't even know exactly what it does, but it feels good, and I like it. So, uh, it's like for external use as a soaking solution. Um, it's like you put two cups of the Epsom salt into warm running bath water um, for around three times a week to relieve sore, tired muscles. Obviously, I don't do it three to four times a week, but um, you know, it still feels good. And like you can even like I think you can even drink uh, drink it. Maybe I can't remember. Goki loves drinking. Wait, you could drink Epsom salt? What? Well, it's like it's it's like you can do the same thing with like salt water, where you like gargle it, basically. Oh. 
Pretty really? Pretty sure. Really? Yeah. yeah really? I, I, that's what it said on the thing, I think, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like saline lax. It's a saline laxative. So if you're ever constipated, Epsom salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, it's it's great. This thing this thing works wonders. It feels so good. And then I also what I do is I um have lavender oil. So I'll put like I, I I go I go all out with the lavender oil just as a warning. Um, I do like ten like I have like a little mini syringe and I do like ten drops of it in there. Oh my god, is one of the most relaxing things you'll ever experience in your life. It is great. <laughs> Might not be. I don't even. I don't. Think, I've ever. I've never been to a spa, but basically it feels like a spa. If, if I were to, you know, oh, I, I feel like I feel like it would feel like a spa. That's how good it feels. Oh. So yeah, you can use it as a sailing laxative. You can bathe in it, and it feels good. So yeah, there you go. But what would we? Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not an ad. But in case you guys are interested in what my favorite dancing routine is, and then also like I do stuff like um, I have like a tennis ball. I have like a foam roller. So like I roll on the muscles with that, um, which is nice. Um, feels really good when I do it, but like I haven't been doing it recently and like I've been paying the price for it So today or tomorrow I'm, I'm going to like force myself to like actually take care of my body So because it's like I've been taking care of myself mentally, but not physically. So it's like ah. So what would be when better? I say physically, I'm not meaning like I'm not when I say physically. I'm not meaning like I'm out of shape. I mean um, I I'm exhausted. So like my body's exhausted. So what That's would what be I mean, better, Goki? The Epsom salt, or would it be better to have like a bag of ice, or that type of method um, therapy? Depends. It depends on the um situation. So like for example, if you're let's say you're like have a swollen ankle or something like that, ice would work better for a swollen ankle. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's just like your muscles are really sore or they're like you know, really crampy or like you, you're, you just feel like tight or stiff, mm -hmm. um, warm water, Epsom salt bath would help. So, uh -huh. um, it just, it just basically comes down to what you feel like is best. And I think I'm not, um, keep in mind, I am no medical expert at all. Right. I'm mm -hmm. not a medical expert. So don't, mm -hmm. you know, listen, take my advice with a grain of Epsom salt. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, um, like for me, what it, what it comes down to is like how I feel most of the time, wa warm, warmth works better for me. Um, but like sometimes again, like if it's like a swollen ankle, like ice would obviously work better. Um, it just kind of depends mostly on the person, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, in my, in my opinion, again, this is not coming from an expert, so take my advice with a grain of salt. But, um, usually like for like just soreness, I use warm water and then for like serious injuries or like if something's like really bad or like something's swelling, I use ice. Gotcha, so. dude. Gotcha. You know, I should, I really needed that type of information, you know, but unfortunately, yeah. I don't have a bathtub. Something... I don't have a bathtub. It sucks. Oh, no. I don't have anything. I just no. have a, like, standard shower, you know, just the, that little shrine, and then that's, that's, a, that's it. A that's a that's 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 right there. Yeah. But, um, and then, like, sometimes as well, like, something with dance I've noticed is, like, it can be easy for me to, like, get overheated and dehydrated. So, like, drinking, like, I, I, I think, I don't know if this is unusual, but I feel like it is. Like, I think I drink a lot more water than most people do. Maybe it's because I drink coffee. I don't know. But, um, like, especially when I dance, that's something I have to be keeping really in mind is drinking water and making sure I'm not getting overheated. So, like, when I'm overheated, like, obviously getting, like, getting co cooler is the way to go. So, like, ice would be the way to go to, to like, cool yourself down. So, again, it mostly depends on the situation, but it can also depend on the person as well. Like, if you, if you get more relief from a cold bath, go for the cold bath. If you get more relief from a warm bath, do a warm bath. So... And then obviously there are some things that like cold would be better and warmth would be better. But like for the most part, if it's just like your standard type of your own treatment, it just comes down to what you prefer. And in my opinion, this is this is from what my own experience. And again, not a medical expert. So take take my advice with a grain of salt. <laughs> I need to emphasize this because I don't want people going to the comments and saying, Goki, you lied to me. So <laughs> For more experiences like this, consider subscribing. <laughs> Oh my god. Consider subscribing. <laughs> Consider, Consider subscribing. subscribing on Gizmo's channel where I'm not usually there. <laughs> where he's not usually there. Where I'm not the here most of the time. It's just for the it's podcast. Great. <laughs> it's great. It's just for the podcast, man. Just for and the podcast. Only verses. <laughs> and the only verses. That's, That's why I like the podcast. We always talk about random stuff on, on top of the episodes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but on great. But on that note, there's one thing I do really want to mention because... Yeah, it's on. just been on my feed for whatever reason. I don't know why it's on my feed. It just happened to be on my feed. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have a viewer's is discretion advice feet? on my. Uh, is it bad that I, is it bad that I thought you were saying feet? Did I say feet? 
It sounded like you were saying feet, like like your foot. Oh god! <laughs> and then I realized, oh wait a minute, you're saying feed, duh, <laughs> like your Twitter feed. Oh I was oh like, What's oh on yeah, your feet, on, on my YouTube feed. This yeah, my YouTube feed. I was like, what? I was like, feet feet. <laughs> but yeah, probably at the beginning of this uh, podcast, funny. I'll probably have like a little like two second of or five seconds saying viewers discretion is vice because of this very mm-hmm. segment. Uh, so I showed Goki a clip. <laughs> Oh god! Wow. I'm not gonna talk about it or anything. I just wanted to point oh, it out no, there. No, no. I'm just gonna say, no, man, no, I don't no. know why a lot of people are putting so much attention to this anime called Redo of a Healer. <laughs> I don't recommend anyone to watch it if you just can't handle it, like anything uh, rated R. I don't recommend it. I'm having no say in this. Just for the record, <laughs> I'm having zero say in this. Uh, the <laughs> only thing. Not only do I not even watch anime, that is not the type of content I like watching at all. So. But for those who <laughs> I do, have nothing to say in this notion. <laughs> but for those who do decide to watch it, I'm just gonna say, um, mm. you need therapy. <laughs> I'm there just you kidding. Go. There you I don't know. I, I can agree. Know. With- I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. No. From what from what I've heard. <laughs> The only reason I really want to bring it up, me. the only reason I really want to bring it up, as that's one of the winter twenty twenty one animes that are actually popular right now, and there's other ones like uh, the Is it popular Promise- or infamous? Because I feel like it's infamous. <laughs> really? I- I'm-, I'm gonna be honest. No, from what I've seen, it's pretty infamous. Ah, uh, gotcha. I don't see for pe- being a bad anime. <laughs> I don't see this ever reaching the U.S. like for a dub or anything. But if they do. Uh, that'd be an interesting one because it you know how US, US would the US like loves it. censoring the US stuff. The US like loves it. censoring a lot of stuff. So we've seen in this we've seen this a lot in the past and it by the way it's you know what's crazy enough about this anime is that it has a good score. Like a decent score. And I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. but yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to throw it out there because it's always on my news feed and it's just like I never go- it's, it's YouTube a weird this. Anime, yeah. yeah, it's like wow. And if you look at the comment section of Redo of Healer of any video, they're like, oh, "Why God. does YouTube oh, no. even monetize this? <laughs> Why does no? Well, does does YouTube actually monetize it? Yep, <laughs> they do monetize really? it. Really? So <laughs> it makes me think. It's like, geez, maybe I should create like a little segment of every anime of the winter twenty twenty one because I watched most of them. Yeah. So I thought I might, might as well just yeah. give my little podcast, I guess, of of some sort in the future. But yeah, I just yeah. wanted to throw it in there because I brought it yeah, up with Goki. as well. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I, I thought you were finishing off. Sorry. Um, yeah, I, I was because yeah, because I was say I was brought it up with Goki. Oh. So he's yeah, yeah, I scarred him. Yeah, <laughs> I scarred him. <laughs> yeah, you scarred me very uh, with one like five second clip. It was terrifying. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, something that I think is interesting. I remember seeing a doc- like some sort of like documentary or like or something like that. It wasn't a documentary, but it was like a video talking about how like. American culture and Japanese culture are very different, which is why, like, in Jap- Japan, something, or, like, in anime, some things are seen that Americans would never post, like, in a movie or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, like, Goblin Slayer was another one. I th- is, was it called Goblin Slayer? Yep, yep. Something like that? That were, like, the first the first episode's, like, extremely infamous. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it was just one of those, like... Now, obviously, I'm not saying, like, the subject that is in those episodes is like morally great no it's wrong don't do that but it's just obvious obviously like that's wrong but it, it was really interesting to hear because and i can't remember that there was talking about like that particular thing specifically or if it was just like something like Yu Gi Oh with like the finger pointer things mm-hmm. but which is but it was interesting to listen to because it's just like it goes to show you how like sometimes american like Demon Slayer, that's a good example. Demon Slayer, because um, something about Tanjiro's earrings or something like that yeah. was, like, some sort of, like, fascist symbol or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. But, like, America just took it as, like, this fascist symbol, and, like, the Japanese were like, no. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's interesting to listen to and talk about, I think. Uh, also, like kind of also, one of the reasons why I brought out... Uh, uh, brought, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, so correct me in the comments, <laughs> by the way. This is just what I remember briefly. While watching a video, gotcha. I, I think it was actually Nux Taku, I believe. Actually, one of the, re- uh, the another Taku. reason why I brought up the YouTube feed was because uh, on top of this, there's a big reason why this show, and specifically regarding how bad it is, I won't say in what way mm. because I don't know if YouTube would mon- did monetize or so whatever this video. 
I can guarantee you they would not monetize us. They would probably permanently demonetize us. <laughs> <laughs> For reals. So the reason why people are bringing it up, because back in 2020, there was another anime that's called Interspecies Reviewers. So if there's any fans of those. Oh, yeah. Uh, that anime. That one, I've heard, that one I've heard is pretty good. Which from I, what I hear. From what, I'm, from what I hear. From what I hear, it's it's very... It, <laughs> oh, no. I mean, uh, I've heard of the stuff involved in it, but from what I can tell... <laughs> It seems to have a general positive response to based on like the target audience, which is not me, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've heard. I'm just saying what I've heard. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of surprised that Funimation, though, usually the company that's in charge of like dub versions for animes, I'm surprised they even released one episode from this anime. So if you know what I'm talking about, this anime definitely is not supposed to be for kids. <laughs> So they actually, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. So it definitely, makes me think definitely, if they're ever gonna make the a dub version of Redo of Healer, and if they do, then oh, oh my god, I will, oh, I will no. definitely watch it just for out of curiosity, just out of freaking uh, curiosity. curiosity. But morbid I, curiosity. I would be like, what goes behind the acting between these du- these dub versions? Yeah. I mean, um, I, I would just. I just want to give like a little plop standing ovation for that. I was like, yo, for that, for a person to do that, I'm just going to be like, you're respect, not wrong. respects, you know, uh, respect. You're not, yeah. Not, and, and not, is definitely not any normal exactly human exactly. would be able to do that. I know no average human would want to do that at all. So, yeah, no guarantee for sure. Acting is act as a person who has acted in the past and is a performer. Um, acting, especially like in like dubs or like, or like as a voiceover or in a movie, like it, you, you don't just, like, voice the lines. You become the character. Like, Mark Hamill is known for playing Luke Skywalker. He's known for the Joker. He's known for all these characters because he is, be- he is able to expertly become those characters. He wasn't Mark Hamill being Luke Skywalker. He was Luke Skywalker. So it's, it's something that's very admirable. In order for a dub or, like, any form of acting to be good, you have to, become, you have to basically, like, become the character. That's why, like, method acting is something that a lot of people do. Um, like I think, like the, Sh- the Shining was a very infamous one, and while yeah, I don't agree with how, um, who was the actor again? The Shining. Um, Never watched it. The female, the female actor. Well, I don't agree with how she was treated during that at all. The reason being was because of the method acting to make it look more, a lot more believable. Now, again, I'm not endorsing that, but you mm-hmm. know, like that's the reason method acting exists. Yeah. So mm-hmm. is is to, for the people to become more enveloped within the character to become the character so there's something uh, long what i'm trying to say is if you're trying to reenact something from something like an anime like redo of a healer like based on what i've heard about it um wow you know the the again, one the, that's like again what gizmo said mad props basically because oh god that mm. you know i would not <laughs> want to do that you know the reason i, I know this might right come now. out as wrong but I'm kind of not, I'm not happy. I don't know how to justify it. It's just like, I'm glad that it does. Those animes do exist because sadly enough, these type of things, whether we believe it or not, they do actually happen in real world, in the real life, you know? So, yeah. so when people come out with their stories saying like, oh, I've been through this incident, it's a way you, you won't be able to feel the same way. It's just like, you could un- kind of have an idea of what they've been through. So take, take yeah. it how you want to take think- it, but I just like. It's just a weird comment I wanted to throw out there. But yeah. yeah. I think there's a right way to do it and there's a very wrong way to do it. Like, it's important to have those discussions, Mm -hmm. but there's a right way and a very wrong way to do it. And, like, I don't know how it's taken a redo of Healer. Um, I haven't been paying that close of attention to it. But if it's taken, like, the very wrong way, then that could go downhill really, really fast. So... But this is Japan um, we're talking about, so it's it's fine. That's true. It's, it's, that it's is Japan true. is a really it's, known culture for knowing, uh, for people yeah, with a lot of fetishes. Going so. back to like, <laughs> going back to like American versus Japanese cultures, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's um, this is surely based on what I've heard. I have no cited information. Mm-hmm. Just this is, yeah. Uh, besides like a YouTube video I watched, so I'm not one to talk about it. But no worries. Or like talk about like those specific things, but. Um, there is like I think it's important to have a discussion about like these type of scenario like things that happen in the real world. There's just a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And if you do it the wrong way, it's not going to look good at all. Gotcha. So, 
It's it's a very hard subject to do. It's a very hard subject to talk about right, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Like again, it's like it's it's similar to like, you know, talking about the race wars and or like, you know, sexism, something like that, you know. The, obviously they're very wrong, but it's important to like learn how they came to be is like how to combat it and it's like there's a right way to talk about it and a wrong way to talk about it Mm -hmm. the right way to talk about it is is like educating people like this is how this happened this is how we can fix it this is how we can move forward with it the wrong way of doing it is using it as a joke using as an offensive joke basically Mm -hmm. so or like there are other ways to make it wrong too but that's the most popular one is like where you use it as a very offensive joke that's that's not taken well by the public for Mm -hmm. for right reasons so uh, it's it's a very thin line to cross, especially with something as serious as redo of a healer's plot. Oof. You know, like that. Like again, this is what Gizmo told me as well. Gizmo told me the plot, and uh, wow, that's all I can say about it. Like, oh god, yeah. But it, it's it's something that like has. If you really want to talk about something as serious as those types of things, it needs to be done right, and that's a very thin line to cross to making it wrong. So. Exactly. Anyways, sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a stupid person on the internet. I'm probably gonna get canceled now. Nah, don't, sorry, don't worry about it. I, I think I said way too, way too many weird <laughs> things in this video. But you know, this uh, is why I created the wrong. podcast because it's a way for us to like, if anything, if we get positive feedback on the series, we might actually jump off to a natural podcast, like a natural podcast, and dedicate a segment yeah. to something like this or anything in particular, something random. Exactly. I, I don't know if yeah. Goku would be up for that on like another I would totally be up for it so and like we could talk about like trending topics and stuff like that as well so that yeah do do like a deep dive into it and like again obviously like what I'm saying is just what I've heard about like the cultures and stuff like that um and um if anybody has any like actual sources please link them down in the comment section below and correct me Mm -hmm. um if there's anything like disproving that but this is just based off of what I've heard and it makes sense so So like in my head if it's wrong I, I apologize greatly. But, and again, uh, this needs to go without saying, uh, we do not endorse what happens in, like, Redo of Healer at all. Yeah, we, do we, we don't that. endorse don't that. Don't do that. Yeah. Like, you know, we've, we've, that should be a thing that is very obvious. We do not endorse that. We do not endorse nope. treating people lesser than a human being, basically. Yep, we, I... we, don't, we, we don't endorse treating people lesser than the basic human decency that everybody deserves. Mm-hmm. Which includes, you know, like, if you if you do the things that blatant redo a healer, you are a sicko, stop. <laughs> Seek help immediately, because you need it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll turn, leave it on that note, Turn yourself in for life. We'll leave it on that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Anyways, <laughs> Anyways uh, let's talk about these solo games. <laughs> so let's go on to the episodes. Uh, b- actually, before uh, we go on to the episodes... Gizmo, do you think um, it's safe to upload this? Do Gizmo, you have do any comments on your end? Because I don't know. Goki? Um, well, first off, do you think it's safe to upload this? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're not talking about anything. No, nothing. Uh, it's nothing at you or anything. Okay, it's, okay, oh, jeez. Um, That's actual category. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, oh my uh, do God. you have any comments on your videos on for episodes 8 um, and 10, I think? Or is it 9? No. I had 9 and 11. There you go, 9 and 11. You had... Uh, I have had, had haven't had any and, on my end. You had 10 and 12, I think, yeah. So, episode 9. Um, nothing much, like, super happened. Um, I know you get to Cerulean City. You, you got to Cerulean City uh, by the end of the episode, and I got to Bill. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. Um, I really like the edit I did. I know Gizmo, I asked Gizmo if he had watched the episode, and he hadn't watched it yet. But there's a section where I have, like, I've never seen the Wild Thornberries, but I've seen, like, the previous, like, the movies mm-hmm. that of the Wild Thornberries. Like, there's one... I, I don't know which one it is, but then there's there's one where it's like the Thornberries and the Rugrats have a crossover in a movie, mm-hmm. which is apparently a really bad movie, but, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I had never watched it. And then there's another movie as well where they, like, go on some sort of adventure craziness. Um, but there's a kid, there's, like, a boy there who just speaks, like, all sorts of gibberish. I don't even know his name. Exactly, I can't remember his name. Mm-hmm. But he's like... It's, it's funny and it's great. So um, there's a section where I encounter the Latios in the episode, and I freak out, and it sounds exactly. It sounds very similar to how the wild, like the the kid, sounds. Mm-hmm. So I just put like a little edit of in like the a picture of the kid just going crazy, and it was really funny. I I, I just felt proud of that. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to bring that up. Um, let me know if you guys watched the Wild Thornberries. Apparently, it's pretty decent um, as a show. I never watched it. Gizmo never watched it. So let me no, know. No, no, I'm um, very uncultured. Guys, 
Think of it. I'm very uncultured. Same. No, you're 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 more cultured than I am. I am the most uncultured person ever. I never watched cartoons as a kid because we never had a TV. We because I live on a mountain, we don't have like TV reception here. We only get like very few channels. And it's only like the most popular ones, um, <laughs> like the Super Bowl. Oh, that's something we could talk about. The Super Bowl. Uh, we'll talk about that after the episodes. Uh, <laughs> Um, let's see. The other thing as well was like, I know I'm going to start a comment war with this one. Uh, Reg Ice or Reggie Ice? Because <laughs> that came up in the episode. Oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so it's really weird because like I found multiple clips of Reggie Ice in, um, the anime. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the way Reggie Ice, the way Reggie Ice's cry works is it sounds like he's, it sounds like he's going Reggie Ice, like Reggie Ice, Reggie Ice. Uh, terrible inter- impersonation, but like that's what it sounds like. It sounds like he's saying Reggie Ice, but then the the trainer that has our Reg Ice in the battle says Reg Ice used Blizzard or like Reg Ice used Ice Beam or whatever Icy Wind, and it's really funny because it's like the anime can and of course the anime is not one a great source. Let's be on of like information. Let's be honest, mm-hmm. based on like the very like first few episodes of Pokemon. It's it's not it's not great. There's there's definitely a lot of liberties when it comes to. The anime and, and Pokemon lore. I just find it really funny that it's like, you know, it's like the Pokemon cry is Reggie Ice and the trainer says Reg Ice. So it's like, which one is it? You can make a case for both. <laughs> so, so if you want, I'm still saying so I'm probably going to function between the two now because I've got both of them stuck in my head. I used to say Reggie Ice because I think Reggie Ice sounds cooler. Frick you all. Um, just like Arceus. Apparently, it's like Arceus. I don't care. It's Arceus. <laughs> um, Actually, I've never so. seen. I, I don't remember what does Arceus cry sounds like in the anime. I really don't know. Remember. I I don't remember Arceus's cry. I don't even know if he has a cry to be honest. But like people debate whether it's called Arceus or Arceus, or if you're if you watched and then JTV Arcus, as he would say. Um, mm. I I used to watch MNJTV, but then after like the controversies surrounding. Well, him, I, I mean to watching. be fair, Arceus never appeared in <laughs> the anyways, anime, just the in a movie. I think called Jewel Life or something like Probably that. Just, I think he's appeared in a movie, but he's never appeared in the anime, which makes sense because he's the literal god of the Pokemon world. And so. we never see him. That would make sense. <laughs> you know, that would make sense. You know, it's kind of hilarious how most of the Pokemon movies, all the legendaries just telepathy, just use telepathy. That's it. We never hear them cry or anything. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of Mewtwo. anime, can we just say... Happy birthday to Mewtwo, by the way. Wait, to, as we're recording this, it's Mewtwo's birthday today. Happy birthday to Mewtwo. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that out there. Happy birthday to Mewtwo. The day he was created. It's pretty cool. Goki, can we just say that uh, I, I I don't know if you watched the anime, like the current anime that's airing for Pokemon. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I, I do not know. I, I don't do either. Not. I don't either. But I was watching a news. Uh, <laughs> it was on my Facebook news feed. I know. I still use Facebook. Well, not really, but I just. Whoa, you're a boomer. <laughs> uh, I don't use it, but I just like have it there just because I used to subscribe to these like Pokemon posts. And there was this one yeah. Pokemon post that was there that showed that this trainer called Go. I think you know who he is, right, Goki? Oh, yeah. Uh, spoiler alert. Spoiler, Spo- by the way. Yeah, spoiler um, alert. Yeah, spoiler uh, alert. Because I think I know what you're talking about he here. Caught is, a, it, is it the um, Suicune? Yeah. He, <laughs> he ca- caught a Suicune. Yeah, he got a Suicune. <laughs> that was interesting. That was yeah. interesting. I thought that was really interesting. And um, let's see here. Um, yeah, Go is like um, Ash's new like traveling companion. Yep. Um, yep. So, yeah, that was really interesting. That was, I I don't know like the whole context of it, but from what I hear... It sounds like the way it's gonna like the way that works is like go caught Suicune so he can summon it at any time. However, Suicune can still run around and do like what it needs to do as like the legendary beast or dog, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know, as right? A legendary beast. <laughs> but I, I thought that I thought that was like the best case scenario for like if you if you have a protagonist catch a legendary to so, like have it like they can still summon it, but it, it, it like roams around. You know what I mean? Um, I thought that was a very that was a very cool way of handling it. I think that's the best way they could have handled it too, because like we already see like in the freaking first episode of the anime, I think it is like doesn't go try to catch a Lugia <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, I don't like talking about the anime. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put it out there. Look, it's uh, it's literally it's like putting putting like actual um, IRL Pokemon Go into an anime. You know, it's it's not. Yeah. You know, I hate it's it. Like throughout the anime, they're all like teaching all these, like teaching you that all these legendaries are difficult to catch. But we have Go, who catches the Suicune and just a Pokeball. Yeah. Like, what the frick is this? Yeah. <laughs> and then, I think it's like rumored that Ash is going to catch a legendary bird or something too. I think I remember hearing about like the, 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 the Galarian, like a Galarian bird, like Galarian Zapdos or something like that. I remember kind of briefly hearing about that. 
Um, I don't know how true it is. Take that with a um, grain of salt. But I just remember hearing something about that. I thought that was interesting. I thought I heard this uh, somewhere too, where they say, which I could uh, understand. This might be uh, Ash's final season in the anime. I mean, he's really because he already has an OP hear. team. I mean, he's never had an OP I mean, team yeah. ever before. He has like a Galarian Farfetch. He has a Lucario now. Yeah. Now he has Dragonite. Yeah, he has Lucario. And he has Dragonite. I, I don't know he what else Gengar. he has. Gengar. He has, I remember. I think he has Gengar. Um, let me look it up actually, because I I do remember him having an OP team. Let me look it up. Overall, what I'm like just saying is that this guy has a broken team compared to, uh, in the past. I mean, it's kind of well yeah. balanced, but starting in he has a lot of starting, pseudos. Let's see here. He has a lot of pseudos. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this is definitely his most OP team, even compared to like Sun and Moon, where he had like freaking um, Naganadel at one point. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find his team. Uh, or his teams. Here we go. In rotation. So right now in rotation, he has Pikachu, which can Gigantamax, uh, D Dragonite, Gengar. Oh, I forgot. He has Dracovish now, too. He has Oh, Larry yeah, Dracovish. Holy crap. I forgot about Dracovish. Yeah, that was wild. That was really wild. Never watched the anime, uh, by the way. He has Lucario. Let's see here. He has Lucario. That's that's what he has, it looks like, in rotation right now. Uh, I think it's also rumored he might get Grookey, since um, Go has uh, his um, freaking... Whatchamacallit. Uh, Go has both Sobble and um, Cinderace. Mm -hmm. It's rumored that Ash will get Grookey, which I would love. That would be amazing. Um, let's see here. What else is there? Oh, no. Apparently, he temporarily owned Buzzwool, Stack Attack, and Pheromosa. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, um, let's see here. I think that is it. Yeah, that, I think that looks like that's it. Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. Wow. This is based off of like uh, this is based off of like Bulbapedia, which is like the first link I found. So freak y'all. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. But still, he has like a really overpowered team. Like he has Lucario, he has Dragonite, he has Gengar, he has uh, Dracovish, he has Pikachu that can Gigantamax, and like Farfetch'd I've heard is putting in work too. And I think yeah, there's some other Pokemon I think that he has that I don't see on here for some reason. Yep. I'm pretty. I've sure. been keeping up with the anime myself, movie. so. Uh, yeah, yeah we've Ash been <laughs> been going on a lot of tangents in this podcast sure. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny yeah uh yeah. so is there anything you wanted to add on to your episode nine just just curious um i'm just kind of looking right now to see if he has any more pokemon okay pokemon dragonite gengar lucario farfetch'd dracovish i guess not i guess that's it hmm interesting do 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 Let's do, 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 Hey, 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 let's go on a journey. Oh, we going on a podcast. Yo, I'm sorry, yo, I was yo. reading. Sorry, I got hey. distracted reading a bit of the summary about Pokemon Journeys. Might have to check that out, actually, because that sounds interesting. Anyways, um, besides, the only, the last thing I wanted to talk about in episode nine was uh, the Reggie Gigas noises, <laughs> which Gizmo did listen to. I showed him the clip. <laughs> yeah, so for, uh, I'm going to put in the description <laughs> the timestamps <laughs> to all the little moments of the episodes in the description below, so... <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not obviously so not gonna tell Goki to put it on his videos because I want people to actually watch his video, like the whole fit, full clip. But it. just in case you guys were curious, it's gonna be in the description. So yeah, yeah it is it. really funny. It was really funny. So yeah. Anyways, that was it for episode nine. Um, we got distracted talking about the Pokemon anime, but yeah, I haven't seen the. I've seen like bits and pieces of the Pokemon anime. Like I saw the original. I saw the original first few series. Like I saw the original. I think I saw most of the original. I saw. Uh, I think I saw the first season. I saw Orange Islands. I saw some of Hoenn. I saw some of Sinnoh. I saw the um, post game Unova. Post post game. Post Elite Four and the Elite Four arc, which I hated. That Elite Four arc sucks, by the way. Don't at me. Um, the, I see, keep saying Elite Four. The tournament, whatever. The, the Pokemon League, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, definitely. That league sucked. Uh, <laughs> but everybody knows this. Um,. I also saw Pokemon X, Y, and Z. I saw that whole series. That, that I saw everything with that. That was that was really good. Mm -hmm. Ash should have won. Uh, <laughs> I saw some of Alola, and that's pretty much it. So I haven't seen like a lot of it, but I've seen some of it, like bits and pieces. I've so. seen everything. And I saw a lot of the beginning sections of Alola. I've seen everything up to Sinnoh, and like a small portion of like the beginning and middle and end of Unova. I just didn't like that arc at all. Whatever. I People have yeah. their own opinions. I just didn't like it. I watched all of yeah. I mean, XY, I think I think XYZ in real time when it was airing yeah. in Japan. And nice. 
I kind of gave up on the other one where they're in Al- Alola, right? Alola, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of gave up on that. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't because of the the way they were dressed. I just didn't like. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't like the plot for that arc at all. But yeah, I got gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and and then the fact now that we're like moving very, on to like Pokemon Go. Arc to go no, with, thank you. But, um... <laughs> no, thank you. I'm done. Uh, I'm done with Pokemon. See, I don't know. How, uh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen any of that, so I can't comment on it. The only the, the most I've seen of it is like the Pokemon that you know the the the, po- the news that hits the on Twitter, which is like the the sweet the the thing you know with the thing with the thing with the thing, um and then um let's see here, uh oh the the one episode where like uh, Ash gets a shelter on his head or something like that or whatever it was, uh. And like he he starts speaking like he he like gains the knowledge of a slow king and then he starts speaking English in the Japanese dub mm-hmm. or something like that. that I think that was really funny. I think the reason I, why I, I like that that was funny. I think the reason why I don't like Pokemon Go or I I forgot what the anime is called Pokemon Journeys or something is it not that's what it's called. I think I think there's I think there was an arc that started off the series with go and then like that became pokemon journeys i could be wrong maybe the whole thing is pokemon journeys but i think pokemon journeys just recently started i think i could be wrong the main that. reason i don't like that anime in specific is because there's some trainers from back in like previous uh generations like previous um what's it call it yeah um from like, like they visit, they visit previous like regions older, and they don't have yeah, like interactions with ash regions. even though they met with ash they almost really? act like if they never knew each other Maybe I'm, I watched the episode wrong or something, but, like, the interactions, it's just, it seems like, oh, you're a new person. Not like, oh, I knew you from Maybe. here and so-and-so. And it's like, oh, so how's your Pokemon doing from so-and-so, right? I just, yeah, it doesn't sound like. So, wait, are you talking about, like, characters that have appeared in the anime before? Or are you talking, like, the champions? Uh, I don't know if, like, the champions um, have ever appeared The one the episode I'm talking about is this when uh, Ash is going up against Karina. I think that's her name the fighting type gym leader oh, in uh, that's interesting actually the... yeah you would think they would they would you would think that they would like have a reunion or something like that maybe they did i don't know again i don't know but if that's the case if that's the case where they didn't have a reunion of some kind or where they talked about like oh how's such and such pokemon doing that that is weird i don't like, yeah like, it's, i wouldn't like that either. it is super weird even though despite the fact that the first episode ties in unova i mean unova types in uh, yeah. alola to that universe so it makes me think it's like what the heck What's happening yeah. here? Because like, like even Alo- even in Alola, they um when Ash and the and the company when Ash and the gang went to visit Kanto and then they visited Brock and Misty, like Brock and Misty retained like their memories of when they used to travel with Ash, mm-hmm. and then like they had like this really cool battle where like on where like Brock had a Mega Steelix and uh, Misty had a Mega Gyarados. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. I, I enjoyed those fights. So those were fun to watch. Oh jeez, I just noticed this is gonna be a very long podcast. Oh my this god, this is gonna be a very long podcast. Okay, let's let's keep. Uh, let's all right, keep let's, let's um, go to the next episode because <laughs> if we go on talking, I don't know, I don't yeah. know how I'm gonna edit it. We can talk, we'll talk we'll talk about the rest of the we'll talk about the rest of the episodes and then we'll talk about the Super Bowl because that's coming up and that's very topical. And then um, I'll leave the up. Super Bowl to Goki as I don't watch the Super Bowl. I actually don't even know what teams are going up against. Each other I, I, I don't Super watch uh, football or anything <laughs> like that. Call me a boring person. To, I used to watch football. <laughs> whatever. I used to I used to watch football quite a bit um, back when I was like 15, 16, and then I just kind of stopped for whatever reason. But I'm, I am actually kind of curious to see who makes who made the Super Bowl because I actually don't even know. I should know. I I'm, I don't know if my dad's gonna make this special dip. My dad always makes like a special dip um, when the Super Bowl goes live. Um, I'm gonna ask him if he's doing that. I need to I need to ask him. Oh jeez, I don't man. think he is. But I've never really watched cool. one before at all. I mean, I know how people actually are like. Uh, on Instagram talking about oh the Super Bowl this Super Bowl that and I'm like yeah. oh yeah cool I'm like always there like oh yeah cool I, I, I mean I don't know what you guys are talking about sure why not I mean I'm, the only reason yeah. I know about the Super Bowl is because of the commercials or the ads that come out in the <laughs> whatever the yeah. mid game or something or I don't know no it's just commercials throughout the game yeah. yeah because like that's 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 when people like pour all their like that's when people go out crazy with the ads and like sometimes they hit sometimes they don't it's like Half the fun of the Super Bowl is watching the ads and how ridiculous or amazing they are. So, oh, anyways, episode ten. All right, <laughs> we'll talk about Super Bowl. This, we'll talk about Super Bowl after the episodes. All right, so oh, no. going on to episode ten. Uh, what really happened in this episode is Goki got the got his gym badge for the second gym, and happy enough that uh, you know I finally you guys found out That's that cool. this. Uh, and I think it was episode 10 where I got the lucky egg and now I'm just storming. I'm just storming everything levels. Yeah, I'm Gizmo's, levels. Gizmo's momentum really starts picking up after like these set, this set of episodes. Gizmo's momentum goes 
crazy. And then I'm out here panicking like, oh god, oh no. Yeah. I need to evolve. Yeah, that's all. I need to evolve. That's really what just happened in that episode. Goki just takes on the gym, yeah. gets the badge, and then on my end, I'm just training. And can I just say, now looking back on these episodes, well, looking on episode 10, I just look at myself and I'm just like, why am I such an idiot? I should have just avoided all the trainers and just I could have picked up the lead. Yeah, I could have picked up the lead. That's what I did. That's what I did a lot. Was um after I think it was after this point. They were like, no, it was actually during this point. I started avoiding a lot of the trainers that I didn't have to take on, which is why um you know I might be seem under leveled now or something. I don't know. Uh, but like that's why I'm not gaining levels as fast. Um, also combined with the fact that you know you're training up two Pokemon whereas I'm trying to train up four at this point um, which goes 11, on to episode 11 on his half <laughs> which on is episode end. 11 we finally get a new pair and um, it's a rocking ground pair uh, with uh, Fampy and Omanite and oh my gosh Derp is amazing this... can we just talk about that because I love I love Derp I love I love my boy Derp <sighs> Derp is so good Derp is so good especially because um, I think in the future episodes I taught him Dig um, and I think I ended up teaching him Superpower as well um, mm-hmm. I can't remember if I taught it to him then, but spoiler alert, if I didn't, I taught him superpower as well. Um, and it's a powerhouse of a mon. It is so good. So, like, my team is looking, like, overall really looks good now. Yep. So, I can, like, pretty much handle, especially, like, if I'm able to get him to evolve, if, if I'm able to get my team to evolve completely, it, it's, it's, like, like, nothing is going to be able to beat me unless it's, like, really high level. Mm-hmm. So. And then Gizmo has a speed-boosting Omidine on his team, which, I don't know if he's training, but... <laughs> You know, um, you know, I get the gym badge on his episode as well, so that's good yes, news. Yes, you do as well. You do get that. And then we both make it to Vermilion, um, and then we start doing like the SSN, Diglett's Cave encounters and stuff like that. Actually, so, that's not episode, episode 12, in episode 11. Yeah, there you go, episode 12. Perfect. So honestly, so on that, that with, episode, uh, a lot of things did happen, and one of the things that I realized is I have a Latias. It's OP. I have a Garbage... <laughs> Garbage, uh, <clears throat> uh, Feebas, and we have Goki who's putting in the effort, if not the only one that's putting the effort I'm aside trying. from Ladias. And then we have the the disgrace, the the one that's supposed to help me out on this journey. But you know, we have the Omnite, <laughs> as Goki said, the Omni Boost. I'm mean, not the Omni Boost, the Speed Boost. Not the, the, imagine though, imagine though. Yeah, yeah Speed Boosting Omnite. For those people who have never used Omnite, just know that Omnite in Fire Red just has to trash his move set, doesn't learn anything good. You have to teach it. Most TMs. Pokemon in Gen Three. Through- I feel like most Pokemon in Fire Red and Leaf Green specifically have very trash move sets for some reason. It's really strange. Mm-hmm. And I, um, I like can't again, do with Latios that. Again, doesn't get a good attacking move until level twenty, which is ridiculous. I know, right? So. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So like that is absolutely ridiculous. Granted, once it gets that move, it's unstoppable. But you know, still. But can I just weird. say, in episode twelve, we end off the week on a very good note, though. So, uh, I unfortunately finally caught up to Goki. I finally caught up to Goki. So, <laughs> no! leading on to episode thirteen is ah! just gonna be we're gonna find out who see, ends up is, claiming this is when it's gonna first start place. Close. Yeah, this we're is gonna when, see who's gonna. And like I like I literally called it in the earlier episodes. Once you got Dragon Breath, I knew you were going to like catch up to me. So it was just a matter of how far could I get ahead to make Gizmo stress and like try to get ahead as fast as possible, so that way I have much as much of a lead as I can. So yeah, but I I I, I like the idea that Goki on during episode 12 he's so like relaxed like he doesn't seem worried the fact that i have a level 40 <clears throat> latias he doesn't seem you didn't even worried. tell me you had a level 40 you and- didn't even tell me that's why i was chilling because i was like oh you're probably around the same level as me no you had level 40 latias then i would have been concerned no actually um, unless you did tell me unless you did tell me and i was like well but i've accepted my loss or something like that yeah you but were I, I, like you, no, you kept actually- a lot of information from me Goki, I mean, actually, we, we both kept a lot of information from each other, but you, you, I think you like particularly with your levels, you kept that from me quite very well. Actually, yeah, I pointed it out to that. you on episode ten. Uh, I didn't mention that, but like at the end, I said, "Goki, guess what level I am?" And you're like twenty-seven, and I was like, "No, thirty, no." And then you're like, "Oh, I give up." And then I was just like, "Oh, I'm a level 30. So He's like, "What? What? <laughs> what?" 
I think I think it's because I didn't real maybe it's because I didn't realize how fast you were going because I thought I was going fast enough. I guess I just didn't realize how fast you were going, so I thought I was still fine. And then like later on, I'll probably freak out and be like, "Wait, what? <laughs> oh no, you're ahead! No." Then on uh, and then on an episode at the end of episode twelve, you, I don't think I don't think I ever told you, but I think I mentioned that I was like, "Oh, I'm at level forty, so I'm just straight chilling here. I'm just straight chilling." Yeah, probably, it's kind of crazy, you, yeah. but to be fair. Goki shouldn't be surprised that I have Latias at level 40, considering the team that I have. It's like, well, I have two useless mons that who knows if I'll ever train. And then we have the potential yeah. Weezing on my squad. Compared to Goki, who has like a potential Warren that is not that difficult to obtain. Then we have Macargo, Electrode, or Voltorb in this game. Let's see, Macargo, yeah. And then his and like like my Pokemon, feet. especially in the early game, was really powerful as well. Like I had a really good beginning, uh, like or I, not end game. I had a really good uh, start starting game because like I already had an Ice type that knew an Ice move and a Water move. Uh, Bakargo knew uh, Rock Throw and Ember when I caught it. Now it knows Glare, so I had like really overpowered move sets. Uh, as well as like really good Pokemon mm -hmm. in general with really good synergy. So that's really helping me out, whereas you're soloing with Latias right now and kind of wheezing. Mm -hmm. Which so. makes you think, well, coughing, what's going to be happening for the last half of this versus, to be honest with you? We're already yeah. reaching the third gym. And the reason why I say halfway through gym. is because, honestly, going from past the third gym, everything is just one way, after, one gym after spoiler another. Alert. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert. Yeah, it starts really picking up after that. Mm -hmm. so. so for those who have actually played Fire Red, they know that going past the third gym is all like going to the next gym, the next gym, and yeah. the next gym. I think until... Actually, I really, yeah, that's how like, it goes. It's like really. you go straight to the, it's like you, what you do is like after the third gym, you go up to, through the rock tunnel area, then you make it that way to the fourth gym, then after the fourth gym, you immediately can go to the fifth gym and the sixth gym, pretty much immediately, back to back. Then the seventh gym, all you have to do is fly to um, Pallet Town and then go down and then you're there. Um, you can do the Sebi Isle stuff if you want, then immediately you can do the eighth gym. So it's like, once you get to the fourth gym, it's like back to back to back to back. Yep. Basically. And now it, it comes to the point where between Gogi and I, who has the more resolve to say, you know what, frick it. I'm just going to skip all the trainers and let's go to the finish yeah. line. That's really what it comes down to. So I wonder yeah. well, that and who then, like, also decides what you're to doing do that. Too. That and knowing where you're supposed to go, knowing what you're doing and stuff like that too. That helps yeah, too. it comes down to who, which one of us are willing to you know move forward and just press on with all yeah. the challenges waiting and keep in on. mind as well like keep in mind as well like um saffron city that whole team rocket thing is going on you have rock tunnel you have to get through you have victory road uh you have the mansion so it's like you have to know where you're going in order to like you know like that can make a difference too who knows mm -hmm. so Really looking forward to that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the episodes. Um, mm -hmm. So just because it's Super Bowl week and we're American, let's talk about the Super Bowl a little bit, even though we neither one of us have been watching a lot of football this year. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is the 55th Super Bowl, and the Kansas City Chiefs are playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is interesting. Um, and that's tomorrow. It's starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. So I think it was Eastern anyways. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Um, I don't know. Let's see more about this game. Because I'm actually kind of curious. Um, he's got to be doing his research on this. I just... Yeah. Yeah, he's mentioning all these Same. little teams, and I'm just like, um, yeah, um, I know nothing yeah. about that. You know, nothing <laughs> about Kansas. Or Tom Brady, about, you know? um, Tom Brady's actually the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after he moved from the Patriots, which is interesting. Um, I know, I, like, a lot of people have been talking about, like, oh, Tom Brady's, like, Tom Brady's a bad person, whatever, blah, 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 because it's like... They've been caught cheating before in the game when he was with the Patriots. But, um, and, like, they were talking about how, like, it's impossible for Tom Brady to, like, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I've been keeping up with, like, all the Tom Brady stuff. I just find it interesting that Tom Brady's on another team going to the Super Bowl. So, like, that's really interesting, um, I find, personally. I think he might yeah. be, like, he might have the record for being at the most Super Bowls and possibly even winning the most Super Bowls. I don't know. Let's see here. The weekend is going to be performing at the Super Bowl, which is interesting. Um, let's see here. Super Bowl halftime show artists are exposed to an audience that is especially bigger than any, than they've ever had. The duo Jennifer uh, Lopez and Shakira had about 103 million viewers last year in Miami. Um, yeah, I guess is I guess let's see. The weekend is um performing this week this time, which is cool. So. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Tom Brady already holds six Super Bowl titles, the most in NFL history. Will be making his tenth career Super Bowl appearance next Sunday. That is insane. That is insane. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, anyways, that's just some uh, input right there. Um, in terms of who I want to win, I don't really care much about these teams, so doesn't have that much of an impact on me. 
Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Steelers fan because my dad's a Steelers fan. <laughs> my dad's a Steelers fan. Um, I also like the, the uh, Panthers because I'm from North Carolina and um, the, the uh, Broncos because the Broncos beat the Panthers one time. So, <laughs> You know, this is the first time in, the Super Bowl. in ever in a recording that I actually have no input. Actually, no. Whoa! It's actually, it's actually the first time. Oh, gosh. What happened, Goki? What? Huh? Are you there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, as I was saying, oh, yeah. this is the first time in ever I've ever been speechless. <laughs> Podcast in anything. ever. Like, yeah. ever, ever. In my whole entire... You know, there would be times where I have a blank slate, but I could re- recover from it. But this time, yeah. I have no input. Like, I have nothing to say yeah. about so, As I don't watch football, I mean, yeah. I've never Again, watched it yeah, ever. Watch football, like, so. ever. Ever since yeah. I was... I mean, like, I I've occasionally seen it. Too. It's just I've never actually, like, spent the time to say, oh, play-by-play play, or actually watch an actual football match. I've never watched yeah. it at, at all. Yeah, and like, and, like, whereas you don't even watch football, I've actually played football before, too. I was on... I was, I, I, before I, like, before I did dance, I was on a football team one year. Well, actually, I did flag football one year, which is, like, basically, it's, like, the... I don't really know how to describe it, except it's kind of, like, the kid's version of football. What, because it's, like, you don't tackle the person. You you grab this, like, flag that's on their belt or something like that. Um, so that that's how you tackle somebody. Um, it's not actual, quote, unquote, football. You know, whatever. Whatever. It's basically football, but you don't tackle people. You're nice people. Um, and then, like, the year after that, um, I didn't like flag football, so I tried regular because it was, like, didn't feel like the actual game. So I did regular football, and um, I uh, may or may not have sucked. <laughs> I may or may not have been probably the worst player on the, the team. You know, Koki, <laughs> all these talks that we've had in this podcast mm. really makes me think that an actual, like, if we dedicate, like, a topic to an actual podcast, it would blow, you know? It, it makes me really think yeah, that. Yeah, no, it, it would definitely, it would be crazy. So sure, we yeah. don't have this uh, think, podcast any longer than an hour. I think I was the wide receiver. Uh, I might, I don't <laughs> yeah, know. I'm surprised they're wrapping up. Just for yeah. editing sake, just for my own sake, I might be cutting yeah, a own. little bit of stuff out in and, in and out that as it's sense. super long. And I should really make an update video on my channel because I'm currently yeah. in school. <laughs> so I really don't have a lot of time to edit. I really don't. And yeah i apologize if this episode at the end if you guys made it to the end thank you but this episode yeah might be a little bit i'm gonna try to make it as reasonable <laughs> as to sound you know so yeah so with that being we're working on this podcast thing next time we should probably have like set topics that we talk about in order and stuff like that we should probably do that next time mm-hmm. that might be smart but if you enjoyed this episode, definitely drop down a like. Comment down below what's your favorite part of this episode. Uh, consider subscribing. Yeah, I also subscribe to my boy, Goki Gamer, and follow him on Twitch because this guy is always be streaming on, I think, Monday through Thursday, right? Uh, you, I try to I try to stream when I can. My schedule is um, typically Monday, Tuesday, um, Thursday, Friday. And then I'm also doing a series on Sunday that's typically streamed. So uh, be looking forward to that. So, uh, most of the time I stream from like se- uh, estimated 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time during the week. And then Sunday it's usually like 2 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you love so Crazanity, then Goki's your guy. He, he, I've yeah, been baby, to his streams. To I've it. been to his streams. It's beautiful. Like beautiful. <laughs> knowing, <laughs> how, knowing Goki, it is a great it. stream. It's always a great time to be with him, you know. So definitely go Thank support you. my I, boy. I feel very so. humbled. I feel very humbled by that. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And be sure to check out um, Gizmo's channel as well. Be sure to subscribe here. Uh, go show this man support. Get this man to 100 subscribers by the end of February. I dare you guys to do it. Um, can we get 29 likes on this video? Because, fun fact for you guys, while we were talking about football, 29 was my number in when I played football that one year and I sucked. So get this video to at least 29 likes. That's the goal. If That's this video enough. never hits 29 likes, I will be very disappointed in humanity when I die. So get it to 29 likes. We have until the moment he dies, right? Hey? We have until the moment I die, exactly. All right. You know, so we'll, we'll, we'll press, you know, from here on now, every episode. Definitely go ahead and check out the third episode Rubs, of the podcast. You will kill go you. check it out. <laughs> the doll will kill you. My doll back there, my doll will come after you if you don't hit this to 29 likes. So hit it to 29 likes. Anyways, <laughs> go ahead and wrap up. Sorry. All right. So thank you so much for everyone for hearing this podcast out. We will see you guys next week. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah, Fingers baby. crossed. On the next podcast. Peace out, mates. Peace. Woo! Thank <laughs> you.